عبد الحسن عيسى عبد الحسن مردر when when a police officer shot shot actually directed the gun directly to his head and and shot him dead in front of me while I was covering the events on that day on the 17th February 2011 and it was personally it was a shocking experience as as a journalist working in Bahrain since long time. This was a horrific uh, scene that I, I witnessed in the first time in my life. And um, because the king issue, issued uh, like um, a committee to, to investigate in these cases and they killed off, uh, I think, four, four people at that time, nobody from that committee contacted me, though I was tweeting about what I saw and it was publicly uh, distributed that a journalist saw what, what happened and saw how that man got killed. Uh, nobody from the official side called me to, to know what, what happened on that day or whether the man was armed or who, who did what. But, um, but the family uh, asked me to go on in the court and, and uh, witness or give my testimony about what, what I saw. And in return, I was called to a police station in May 2011, and I was abused uh, and um, tortured for a day because I found out later on on that day that it was because what I said, because I said that military or security forces killed that man on that day using um, their arm and it was very, on, on a very close range and all, all the details of the incident that I said. Um, because I work for French TV and radio, they put a lot of pressure on the government to, to investigate the mistreatment and the torture I, I received while I was in custody for, for a day. And the case went to court, and for, after two years of sessions, uh, going on sessions, the police officer, only poli one police officer was uh, accused, which I, I was accusing around six, and only one of them was uh, sent to, to the court, and she got acquitted at, by the end of the two years. It, it's a summary, as, as Josh said, it's a summary of how how uh, the cases got treated in our courts, how a witness not being called to to give this their testimony if it's not in the favor of the um, poli police officers or um, security forces, and how a journalist got mistreated just because of a report she did, and then if an investigation started in her case because. I have a, a lot of my colleagues got arrested and tortured as well, but nobody, there is no investigation opened in their cases. The investigation was opened in my case because of the pressure that my channel put on the government. And again, the officer was acquitted. That's it. Thanks. Well.